Numbers lanes are going to be incredibly strong if they can execute on it. And we'll see if they, they battle for a, a bounty rune, because that could also offset that, where if they use too many resources, potentially give away a first blood to pierce your quest, what could be three very good lanes for Nygma could also fade away if they, they position poorly here in the in the pre-bounty rune fight. And yet to really see the biggest scrap. Like we've had like the odd kill, but not the full five on five and both teams sharing the have fun, sharing the polite words to each other. Always nice All to see anyone. as we get started. Game number three here between these two teams, PSG Quest versus Enigma Galaxy. It is, of course, the best of three grand finals. Plenty of Dota still to come today for these two teams as they face off against each other. Already the draft becoming very interesting as the amount of bands coming out in the first phase is just hugely respectful of each other. Taking out each other's heroes. Good to see. I love it when you get to start these best see these best of five metas develop early as well. Yep. Noob trying to check my ward, not finding anything. I think my favorite best of five meta thing is when like a team gets beaten early like one or two games by a certain hero they start batting out for the rest and then like in the final mm -hmm. game they're like we'll let them have it again we yeah. can beat it this time and that's just that this oh exactly shit happened, it's right? getting real you've just perfectly that... described this series naga was played game one maybe game two yeah game two uh enigma win Kunker and leshak both banned and miracle is going to be walking up into high ground they are going to see him but they don't go for him they go for the cheap kill the free kill on kuroki not going to go yep. for that Elusive win on that could have win ran away. First blood, first going blood to is first blood. Yeah, the only core here to be able to take this one, but he's still going to be happy with that. A nice start to his game. Hopefully, it'll lead him to a better performance than his Mars in the last one. While in the middle lane, we've got some male playing the DK versus Noob on the puck. Noob's puck very successful in game number one. Some male had a bit of a tough time in game one, but game number two brought it back with a huge dominating performance on the Lesh rack. I feel like DK and Leshrac definitely more similar than uh, Leshrac and Storm for sure. So kind of good to keep it in the same wheelhouse, I suppose, if that's what worked for you last time around. As Ducalis does actually get bought down in the bottom side, trying to trade with Matthew and just kind of getting sucked in the engagement a little bit. Of course, FBZ can come across that plasma field. That ability just does so much damage. Yeah, you, you don't want to overstep your mark as a Crystal Maiden. Like level one, you can poke, but if you get level two before your opponent, sure, try and go for the chase down, go for the fight, but yeah, giving away an early kill, especially because Takaz doesn't have a TP. He had to you know, TP down to bot lane to take the fight, then die. He's doing the walk of shame right now, and yeah, because of that, Nygma, with already better lanes in all three, are going to feel even better at the start of this game. A good start, that's for sure. And Noob actually kind of getting worked a bit in the mid lane at the moment. 12 and 2 to Samael. Noob only getting himself 5 CS to start things off. Of course, he's got a pretty big wave here to try and grab, but Samael's coming in with the denies and yeah, really making this puck suffer at the moment. Yeah, DK first puck is incredibly good for the DK. My is getting yeah. glimpsed back in the top lane, and that is going to be a he's dead gone. shadow demon. It is indeed. Miracle brings him down. The clicks are in. Power shot to make sure. Yeah, it me. does feel like Noob. Enigma though. I mean, when you think about the matchups, like for having this this Windrunner into the uh, into the Shadow Demon, the eventual arena down the line, like it is. How quickly can she get to a BKB? And that's also kind of the theme for everyone else, right? Like, when does DK get his Blink BKB? When does Razor get his BKB? And when they all get all three, it will be devastating. That the damage of Pierce Quest will fall off immensely, as they are all about their their spell casting to to get themselves into the fight, the coil, the arena. Um, so, yeah, I am intrigued to know how quickly Nygma can get there. That is going to be the best timing for them to, to really punish. Well, it's quite a scaling looking lineup of PSG Quest for sure. It is indeed. Yeah, definitely have options in the late game. More options for sure than uh, Nygma Galaxy. So, same, similar pressure as last game to, to make those moves. I wonder which game we're going to get the uh, 60 minute one in, because I'm sure it's going to happen. 
right? The best of five mm. between these two teams, it, it should be guaranteed to have at least one game, but they're not really drafting these like really turtle lineups. Both teams quite aggressive and quite happy to, you know, put themselves in a position where they, they have to fight early. So even this game as well, I can't really see things being dragged out super long, but hey, clip it. Maybe I'll regret this later. I'm down for a game five, 70 minute banger. Now that would get the Nigma fans yeah, riled up. Hype, you know. The comeback, the the down 20k, they're out. Oh my god, a glimpse from Karolki. I don't know, some some nice random deny shenanigans from, uh, from De yeah, good deny. That was pretty sweet. Yeah, and I think I mean PSG Quest have certainly grabbed themselves a bit of a following over the years as well. Some uh, exciting players on this team. The time time playing in the DPC kind of coming up as a relatively unknown Urdu Thunders and breaking into the seemingly unpenetrable masterclass DPC region of Western EU back in the days, or at least that's how people saw it, but they were able to do it. There's been a few teams over the te over the years who have been able to pull that off, and all of them have kind of gained themselves like a bit of a alt following, if you will. Shout out Creep Wave. Radiance. Going underneath the tower in mid lane. They've created yeah. a new mid lane, <laughs> they've kind of put it to the, I don't know, the southeast section of this, uh, this tower. Yeah, this is not really a enjoyable one. It's 11 six advantage to the DK and top miracle. All poisons on him, but with the wand and salve, he'll let the poison pop. Then Ooh, salve up and be straight away back in the lane. Taking hits, taking heavy, heavy hits, but they don't have the mana to go for the plasma field, so they'll have to keep their distance. FBZ they're able to ste steal a decent amount of damage off of tier 2000, and then that allows them to threaten Ducalis' life once more. Oh, he's... Matthew, Matthew, Matthew Wait, finds oh. him. Goes for the pull, but Matthew was ready for it, read it perfectly, and with no vision was able to uh, to, to get that to get that catch there. Very nicely done from the little squirrel. Dakar's trying to be a little bit cheeky. He didn't really have HP or any resources to stay there, but yeah. Matthew going for the kill, and now Sumo applying pressure mid as well. He has that dragon form. Omar is coming mid. Noob doesn't have any HP and or level 6 to, to try and counterplay this. Yeah, his illusion gonna hurt a little bit though a lot actually they've kind of half healthed it so <laughs> understatement they gonna somewhat. get the rune oh it's bottom Ooh, it's bottom side which means it's gonna belong to the dk or maybe matthew because dk doesn't have a bottle of course so matthew is probably not gonna do a whole lot with his arcane rune maybe i'm wrong but Good advantages for Nigma Galaxy being built here. If you look on your left side, that is a CS advantage in just about every lane so far. The A2000 particularly getting super bullied down here. And uh, Samael as well doing horrible things to Noob in the middle lane. It's a uh, payback for that game one. But PG PSG Quest, they feel like they need to get something going in their favor, and they're going to try and do that with a rotation down to the bottom lane by Omar. Dukas and Omar, they've got enough to take down FBZ and get themselves a kill. But now Kuro comes in to answer this as well, so they're looking across towards Omar. Not a ton of damage available for the side of Nibby Galaxy here, though, so no return kill going to be able to come in their way. Unable to save the Razor as well, so nice moves from PSG Quest to try and get a little bit of neutralization in this really early phase here. Not letting things getting super out of hand just yet. Yeah, and Wisdom Rune, Manic actually took it on the off lane, whilst Matthew then took it for the supports of Nigma. That will give Malik his level 6. Intriguing to know if they utilize this. Miracle didn't really get punished too much in that previous game, but an early game Mars with that arena, with that spear, you throw any other spell in the mix, and that should be a dead winner. Wind runner, sorry, but it will be hard. He's actually TPing to mid. So he stepped up mid. into the river. Yep, they want to get some mail here, and they go in all oh, for the spear back, but the uh, Dragon Tail prevents it, but doesn't matter. They've got more than enough damage with that arena to bring down some mail and uh, put a little bit of an end to his domination in the middle lane, at least for now. He's going to be very, very grateful for his teammates coming in there, putting an end to this DK, especially when he's used Dragon Form as well. So that's going to be on cooldown for quite a while now and release a lot of pressure, which is coming out onto PSG Quest. Honestly, that move might be something we look back at. A little later on, if this Puck's able to have a game, or if they're able to utilize this middle tower on PSG Quest to keep on bullying. 
and finding some more snipes would be pretty big. I mean, it was cool from Sumo that he gets that sun off. He forces Malik to have to use that arena. He doesn't get the spear back, and now our arena's on cooldown. With that deep patch nerf, it's an extra 10 seconds, so it's a 100 second cooldown. It gives Miracle Freedom to farm top without any fear. It gives FBZ a little bit more confidence to, to poke that extra, that creep bottom. He has to be careful though. Crystal Maiden and SD are in the area, but both supports Enigma here too. Both teams just poking each other a little bit, and it looks like Matthew's the one to be gone on. And Omar on a killing spree. The Shadow Demon 3 1 and 2. Just completes his mana boots. Nice bit of positioning so far from him. Enabling that aggression. And if he can get level 6 first, get that Dispel in play. Winrun is not going to have fun trying to kite these fights out. Real benefit of Miracle when he played Winrun in that previous game was his ability to, to get in and out of the fight, skirmish as much as possible, use that power shot. And shouldn't really be the case this time around. Not the perfect winner in the game that it kind of became in that previous one. Nah, it doesn't look quite as free, although... I mean, I expected the Mars to be able to do a bit more to the win last game, and it just kind of didn't. I can usually see this matchup being pretty nice, because you've got that Arena of Blood there to uh, kind of interrupt things. Blocking the uh, right clicks from the wind, pretty important. It's kind of becoming a bit of a standoff here in the middle lane. Mel really wants to get in and just finish off this tower. I mean, well, you can get some damage coming into oh, the tower. New oh, beautiful positioning there on the kinetic field, stopping the puck from getting the amplified damage. Now Samel just looking to run down Omar. Should be able to get the kill, but Kuro is going to go down as well. And Omar's still alive for the time being. All the damage coming out on Samel, it's a lot. Quest, they brought in the heroes, but Nigma Galaxy, they're rotating as well. Matthew's here, Miracle's here, FBZ makes a TP connect. Now looking on towards Malik, who's just using Arena, doesn't really have a defensive capabilities here. Spear's going to miss, and that's going to seal his fate the mail brings him down then the galaxy so they say you want to take an early game fight against us we are very very happy to oblige they bring down a couple of heroes yeah it's so important that enigma bring the numbers to these fights if you miss the uh the damage in the arena if the if the coil isn't really utilized then enigma they can run wild in these fights and that uh, kinetic baiting the puck to, to jump in thinking he can get the amplification room but not to be the case denied by sumo on the net worth is looking real healthy for them. All three cores sitting in that you know, the mid to high 4k region and compared to PSG Quest, their cores not doing so well. At least specifically this puck. This puck is now down about 1200 gold compared to his counterpart. Of course, DK, incredibly good matchup against him and that is just going to hurt PSG Quest's early game moves. So we do see a disruption on top. On to Miracle, yeah, finally they're miracle. trying to get him off. He's got the wind run out though, and now beautiful Shackle coming through onto Malik and Noob. Is it enough to save his life? I think it might be, but Omar, he's stacking up the poisons right now. Four poisons, won't land the fifth. And now with Samel and Kuro running him down, Omar might just be dead. Power shot misses, but Sharpshooter does not. Omar falls, and they don't get their prize. Miracle is still alive. Yeah, they keep making the moves on PSG Quest, Ed. They're getting a little bit desperate. Maybe that second series has kind of locked them off guard a little bit because these weren't the moves they were making in game one, but in game three, the, these moves are really playing into to Nigma's favor. And of course, with the Lotus on Miracle, with that wind run, he's able to just survive long enough to, to give his team you know, life in the fight. And he doesn't even go down. The galaxy, they found the lifesteal of farming. But unfortunately, Matthew just goes for a slightly awkward engagement there. There's a lifesteal of rage up. No level 6 on Kuroki just yet, so a little bit of a tricky one to go for. Top side. Miracle. He scans out a gank. Realize that uh, they have a very clear goal on the side of Quest, and uh, it is to kill him. So, scanning out, sensing something's wrong. And getting himself out to safety. Hmm. Just so stark. I'm, like, I'm looking across the cores in PS2 Quest and wondering like, when's the move they're going to make and maybe the Blink Dagger on Mars is going to be that window. I think 2000 he's going to have to think about joining the fights a little bit earlier than he wants to. They lack so much damage. He has an armlet. He he can apply some some nuisance to these fights with that. The Ghoul Frenzy slow, but if they sit back and farm, 
think we're gonna be so content. Maelstrom complete on the Windrunner, Mater on the DK, and they are they're fight ready if they want to be. They are indeed. Hmm. Interesting difference from the uh, first putt game, by the way, is that first putt game he just went straight in for the Witchblade. This time around, Noob does decide to finish off the power treads first. Uh, what leads to that decision? Do you know? Um, I think it's depending on how starved you are in the game and how greedy you can be. Ooh. Let's dodge from Noob. At this game, he oh. had no mid lane, right? So if he goes full naked Witchblade, it's probably not the best. A little bit of a stun coming out onto him, just uh, holding him back as they go for the other targets. They want to bring down the Crystal Maiden to start this off, and Focus Fire comes out to try and finish off Duke Callus, but the arena stops him getting the kill, and now, oh, Acorn Shot finds him. They do bring him down, but the Wind Ranger falls as well. Big kill coming out for PSG Quest to start this one off, but TA2000 is getting absolutely drained by FBZ right now. PayPal's not going to save him. FBZ grabs a kill, Malik gets glimpsed back into his demise as well. Noob running away on the sidelines, and it is going to be a one for four trade as they'll finish off Omar as well. Sure, you get your wind ranger, you finally bring it down, but the cost is massive. Yeah, they use so much to kill off the wind runner. It, it doesn't feel good. Here's your quest, they find like, guys, we got the arena, we got it, we got it. But the static storm from Kuroki just laying inside that arena as well, just preventing just further spell usage. And sure, Lifezilla, he shows up to the fight, he gets into the middle of it, but it just isn't enough from them. You guys are going to have to be careful. Yes. They are one or two fights away from this map getting fully closed out. They need to be so careful the next time they look for an engagement. Potentially try and play for a pickoff so that you score and uh, Nick were wanting to make another move like that. But What does that stalling look like then? Is it going for like little pickoffs around the map? I mean, with which yeah, heroes so as well? It's aggressively pushing out waves so that Nigma has to think about pushing out their tier two creep wave. Getting back into a good formation to be able to smoke without each request just reading it nicely. And on top of that, again, you need to find a pick off. You need to you need to find some type of kill that makes you feel good. Well, it is a bit hard with the uh, the SD and the CM. When you're ahead, it. it's great, but when you're behind, it's not perfect. And they're smoked up. Yeah. If they find the DK, this is a really they difficult see kill. Yeah, they see the breathe fire, but it's not really something they want to go for. And they Galaxy, they're gathering heroes in the middle lane. Infested on Mars. Malik. Oh, wow. This is a big commitment. If they go for this, it has to work. And it oh. will. My God, the supports are just gone. PSG Quest, they'll take them out in seconds. Samael doesn't quite connect to the tree, so Ghost will go for the TP out here. And they don't have the interrupt. Omar and Tikal is kind of blocking each other there. Awkwardly not able to get over and cancel that one out. The port's just gone in the blink of an eye. You asked about what they needed to do. They kind of did it right there. They pushed out the way. Oh, they found the smoke. They got the pick. Two sports down. Yeah, they're making the moves to, to keep themselves in this game. And we'll see if the SD can get there in a reasonable time. But he's looking to rush this Aghanims. He's looking to get the, you know, the, the two charges of the, the Demonic Purge. You have to throw out aggressively. Windrunner, wow. Razor, they're very movement-based heroes. So if both of these get you know, purged up, it's... It is going to prevent their ability to, to hold that link, to hold that focus fire. If Omar can get it in a reasonable time, it would be a pretty cool item rush for him. It will indeed, yeah. I mean, it's something we'll be looking back on and either saying it was a bit too greedy, you weren't able to save your cause when they needed you, or we'll be looking back and saying, damn, these uh, Enigma Galaxy heroes were not able to play into this egg, so keep an eye on it. It's going to be a big change in game, game changer when it comes. Eight and eleven, no significant net worth lead for either team. The next move will decide the kind of next pacing of the game for quite a while. Mm -hmm. Galaxy not feeling the same pressures they had last game to go for like non-stop aggression, but certainly wanting to get things going in their favor. And once again, another invest. Malik looking. FBZ definitely tempting target for him, and he's going to be able to find him inside of the arena. And Fest comes out, damage comes in. Razor taking hits, but Kuro is behind. Static Storm is down, and they are very, very deep here on the side of PSG Quest, but they still get their target. FBZ falls. Malik does go down as well, though, as a sharpshooter connects. And now they're looking for more. The support's very juicy. Succulent support heroes, which they can just get through in seconds. Ducalis is gone. Omar trying to get the deny. Not going to happen. But double kill for Matthew. The aggression is punished. And 
It's all because of the uh, the speed in which Kuroki hits that static storm, right? If if it's any slower, if it doesn't connect, then Life Stealer will press Rage. Sure, it doesn't give him bonus attack speed like it used to, but it would give him the confidence to stick on that target. It's not disengage when he sees the DK stuff of the high ground and yeah, if he goes down, he also didn't have the EKB at the time. It was coming out on the courier. I think if he actually quest, it's like okay, maybe next time we need to bring plus one. The, the, the life still isn't strong enough yet, but at least for PSG Quest, they are doing the motions of how do we get ourselves back in this game? Like, they're not seeing a farming life still. It, you have double blink initiator heroes. He is using that infest bomb to, to give them, you know, or to create opportunities on the map and Enigma at least. They are so incredibly strong soon, right? You've got the Gleipnir on the Windrunner, BKB on the Razor, the Manta now on the DK. I feel like Nick would just want to find the fight and, yep, they found Omar. He certainly did. Miracle, gonna be able to grab that kill for himself. Alec, well, so nearby, just very calmly farming right next to them, <laughs> watching his teammate just get absolutely obliterated. Just like, yeah, oh, creeps to hit. I'm good. swarming him just a little Hot. bit here. He might bump into FBZ and Baroki. Yep. Oh, yeah. Hello, sir. Oh, oh, oh that, out, of that. <laughs> out of the fire, into the flames. FBZ finding Malik, and Malik just slowly gonna get tickled down here. See you later, Mars. Yeah, jumping from uh, from Kuroki into the uh, into the FBZ Razor is not ideal. How is this middle tower still up, by the way? I have a question. Mm. Nigma, after PSG Quest brought so many heroes mid to defend it, I don't think Nigma wanted to try and give PSG Quest a free fight. Like when you're behind with your heroes, Mars and Puck want your opponent to try and hit a tier one tower to have poor positioning, then get hit by multi-hero coils or arenas, etc. So I think for Nigma, they just, they knew they'll take it eventually. It wasn't you know, critical for their game plan. They're not going to live on the radiant side of the map with their heroes that they have. And because of that, taking the tower just isn't as crucial. And it now falls. Finally, finally, the illusions will get it done. Amanda DK to do what it does so damn well. Level 12 plus Manta. Tricky time to play the map now for Quest. They've got to keep these lanes shoved in at all times. And... I think Ducalis really needs to get this shard. I don't know if that involves going Tormentor, see if you get it from there, or having to buy it himself perhaps, but I really want to see this on Ducalis right now because you need a way to answer this constant pressure that's going to be coming out from this Dragon Knight with this Manta. What is Nigma waiting for? They have a decent set of items to be able to fight, but I guess they're just respecting the, the Radiance timing of the lifestyle, the fact that he won't really die to just Miracle anymore. It's going gonna, gonna to take a couple of layers of the fight to, to get through this lifestyle, and because of that, maybe the call is wait for the BKB on Windrunner. Once you have that, then it's a, it's a fight, and then Roshan on the card soon after. And Matthew is very close to his Atos as well. It's a quest. They're gonna, they're gonna enjoy this uh, window of you know, calm in the game. No real fight occurring. As I say that, these do smoke up on Kuroki and Sumo. Link is uh, actually dead see. on Courier right now for Sumo for ten more seconds. But this is a, a smoke pre-blink in the hope <laughs> to find someone in melee distance, which won't be too good. But well, they maybe just yeah. jump the gun a little bit on that one. Our demon sees the watcher get taken, goes for the uh, blink TP. We're in TPing within blink range. And again, he's, he's now only a thousand gold away from the Zangham Scepter, so really not being punished for this greedy, greedy build. PC Quest can't really punish the map in this game. I mean, un other than getting kills, how do they take down early towers? I mean, unless Lifesteal is there, they don't really do it. Catapult waves aren't as disruptive as they used to be. Just because of how easy it is to, to group up and take the fight around them. So, yeah, they really are a victim to the moves that they're making Malik now. Infested once again with the Lifestealer. They want to find a big pickoff. They are going to find Kuroki. Yep. Maybe not the biggest. And he's immediately going to turn around with the Static Storm and Kinetic Field to make this as awkward as possible. And in fact, they're not even going to be able to kill him. 
The Infest is still going. They're trying to trick him here a little bit as on the back lines. They found the Wind Raiders a much better target and they'll be able to bring him down. Miracle is gone. Samael as well. Can't fight up into this Life Stealer at the moment. Life Stealer, very strong indeed under the cover of Rage. Backs themselves away on the side of Enigma Galaxy. Bro going one way. Matthew going the other. Doesn't look like he's going to be caught, so... We'll just be the two cores being killed off and not getting anything more for it, but... Very exciting for PSG Quest to be able to find themselves a fight like this. This is huge. Yeah, vision was key there for PSG Quest. They had an observer that just timed out in that kind of bottom side of the jungle. They saw Miracle wrap around to hold that high ground position whilst Kuroki was in the river tanking up that Mars initiation. And because of that, Puck instantly jumped onto Miracle. There isn't a BKB in play yet, so... Yeah, Vision being the uh, being the victor there, and for Nygma, maybe they got to wait for this BKB. Windrunner, if she can survive, then yeah, he's a monster in the fight. But there is enough lockdown to to punish her. Just hasn't really connected so far, and damage was the problem for PSG Quest. But as we enter the 25 minute mark, a Rasma rush is now complete for Noob. Picking up the phrase, already running at FPC. He's gonna force another BKB. This is what we saw in game one. The new puck that was forcing BKBs, forcing the objective, and he just went for a second item Parasma. He's going to be able to do it again. That's crazy. Blink Parasma. <laughs> Such a bold build. It's so aggressive. Like, if he gets hit by one Dragon Stone or one Static Storm, he's probably going to die, but yeah. before then, it is all on him to play with confidence, and Miracle has the BKB on the Courier. But Nygma, they're smoking up again. They, they're going to try and find so Noob. They get the stun. He's yep, dead. the follow-up is the Static Storm, everything coming together for them. A little bit awkward there. As the rest of PSG Quest have met in the bottom side of the map, they're going for the next Infest Bomb play. Malik, heavily pregnant with his life stealer at the moment. Expecting any moment, but I'm not sure they're going to be finding much. Especially not in the middle lane. Who would you like Malik to, to birth upon on the Nygma side? Mm, indeed, that is the question. I mean, I feel like normally it's Kuroki, but without Static Storm up, probably just Miracle pre-BKB. Yeah. That pre-BKB is not going to be long. Oh, it's on the Courier. Malik, can he get it? Oh, no. God's Rebuke comes out. Miracle's Courier is down, and that's under the... Oh, God. We're now in the position where we're being cornered in by PSG Quest. No BKB on our window. They Ooh, managed to find FPC. Oh, no, Malik. How the hell did he not find a tree there? That is genuinely impressive. Malik, I mean, he's. I think he's just going to be killed off here, but... This is a sad death for him. BKB out. Arena comes down and Razor, well, he's actually taking a ton of damage here as TA2000 trying to get a pot and FPZ. Nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. Gonna lose his life and Malik survives through it all. Now they turn around, look over towards Kuroki. Kuroki's got nothing to do about this, but full. Matthew with the Glypner on the sidelines, just trying to hold back the side of PSG Quest and delay them as long as possible. He's trying to make his own escape. Oh, the spear not quite connecting. Well, I like a slow-mo replay on that spear. That was insane. Wait, can we look at that tree line again real quick? I can I can draw you how fine I... Look, 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 at, look at this, right? Yeah, this is... The, like that. Yeah. Like, that is such a narrow section to miss a spear on. And my golly gosh, he found it, but it didn't really matter. At the end of the day, it... <laughs> they still got baited into the fight and... Whew. Imagine if Winron had BKB. Imagine if the smoke from PSG Quest didn't bump into that courier and kill off that ogre axe it could have been a completely different fight but the movement a little bit of luck involved to get that courier in yeah, there's no way nigma can take a fight miracle can't step up into the these engagements like he did in that previous game he needs it and once his courier respawns sure he'll be confident enough but now he's fighting into the ages uh, sorry yeah the ages the life stealer and tier 2000 he's on for the sand and yasha getting a bit more status resistance and he's looking at a lincoln's and sometimes life stealers, they just go straight for that, the axe in this position, but he's opting to try and threaten Nygma, prevent the dragon tail, prevent that f the shackle or the focus fire. We'll give him a little bit more uh, sustainability in the fight. And... Oh, still can't get rid of the fact that that fight and that Roshan was all dictated by a courier kill. Yeah, that's <laughs> really... We're seeing everything in these qualifiers, that's for sure. What a crazy way to start the fight. And it's just so awkward for Nygma Galaxy. Like, what do you do in that situation then? You suddenly put yourself in the, this spot where you've just got a kill. You're A take Roshan. You're just getting your BKB delivered. And then your BKB dies. And now you're just pinned down in a spot where you don't actually want to take the fight anymore. Super awkward. But uh, 15 seconds, Miracle's Courier will be alive once again. But they've just found the Hoodwink in the tree lines here. Matthew, silenced up, being taken down. Glyton, they're out. Not going to save them. 
noob gets himself a spree. Kalos is eyeing up this Tormentor. He, he wants to see. He wants a shard, I'm pretty sure. He does grab the enemy's wisdom rune. Pretty nice for his team. Enemy tormented down. Omar's gonna be the one to grab the shard. Two excellent shards in this game for their team. Come on, cleanse. Pretty S tier. Uh, oh, so well. He has this axe, right? That we've already spoke about you know, minutes ago. Omar needs to be a focus Ooh, in this fight. And Sumo is jumping away. As TP, but no BKB, so he's very, very dead. He's he's super dead. Yeah, Rose Dragon for dinner, but uh, Omar, well, he's got kind of gone down in the sidelines. And FPC has been able to connect with the link oh, here. Dead. Hold on, oh. hold on, okay. not dead. Any lizards? And they're going to be able to kill off Malik as well. Malik, oh no, 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 no one's dying yet. There we go. Malik does go down. The right clicks come in. Enigma Galaxy. I... They keep their dragon alive. Huge, huge turnaround there on the top side. I got so baited. I, I saw Omar die, so I flicked my camera over to Omar, assuming that I was going to hit DK die, and I flicked my camera back, and he's off. Running down mid lane, he's disappeared, so alright. That would have been a huge death on him as well, because he right, just yeah. finished off his Agonism <laughs> Scepter, so yeah. <laughs> I got gigabated that fight. Missing both kills, huge. Nah. Enigma is on it. Yep, so the captain's coming next. up for Enigma at least, right? You've the courier respawn, so Miracle has BKB. You've got Agonim's now complete on Sumo. Of his fight, he can pop that Manta, have that Black Dragon on his Elder Dragon form, and send it down the lane, send it onto supports, prevent Omar from Ooh, positioning miracle. him. Yep. The oh, miracle. The Infest? Not going to be there. Yep. Yeah, 2000 trying to help out his buddy here, but, uh, well, he's going to get stunned up himself. Shackle lands as well. This is going to be a long time stun, and they're going to be able to take him down. First life gone. Arena not available for Malik just yet. Hiroki's going to throw down the Static Storm, try and mess it. with Malik, and now another Shackle comes on down. Tier 2000 finally gets up the Rage and gets himself away, but they'll be able to take down the Mars regardless, and now the push continues. Oh, Samael, he's not done. But, uh, well, he's going to get stunned up himself. Shackle lands as well. This is going to be a long time stun, and they're going to be able to take him down. First life gone. Arena not available from Malik just yet. Hiroki's going to throw down the Static Storm try and mess it. with Malik. And now another Shackle comes on down. Tier 2000 finally gets up the Rage and gets himself away. But they'll be able to take down the Mars regardless. And now the push continues. Oh, Samael, he's not done. Pushed back by the Psychic Headband. But Samael's not giving up. He's going to keep the chase going. It's because on the high ground just being torn apart by dragons. They must feed. But, um... And now I'll look for the tower as well. Beat wave surviving long enough to give break that back door and get them that tier two tower. Oh, Samael, he picks up his Agonim Scepter and suddenly he's very strong indeed. Also starts because Miracle, he has this confidence to explore the map. He's he's looking for the pickoffs and it he finds SD who's an absolute menace in the fights, and if SD's already having to run away, the Mars is like desperately running in. Sure you have this agent on life stealer, but how does he stand his ground? I kind of think that Tier 2000, he needs that agonism. Yeah, he, he has pivoted his build. He is going for it. That will allow him to just get you know, focused too early on. For PSG Quest, if they if they had to take a fight into Nygma, yeah, they do need to get some better positioning here. They, they need to play underneath their own vision. Omar can't just be caught off guard at the start of every fight. Like, he went for a super greedy build, but it really breaks Nygma if he's able to get all his spells from the from the backline, if he's able to free cast and that's why Miracle is so focused on finding him. Another smoke from Enigma. Both teams just going you know, right at each other's throats. Every time they have a moment of uh, downtime, it's, All right, how can we group up and cross the river, find another pick, and smoke on smoke yes. action as the Let's fight. <laughs> the 32 minute rune spawns and noob. Oh, he can't. He needs to get off the shield rune. He's got a bottle. He, he does. It get it out in time so he's gonna be able to live for the time being samel now he's gonna be the target here but he's a tricky old cookie to crack as the manta comes out ta 2000 staying on him though broken being taken down the dragonite will drop fbz trying to kill off the cars but the cars is actually really damn tanky inside of that freezing field fbz he's losing all his health just trying to kill off the crystal main in the middle of this psg quest they get four everybody dead except for matthew on the side of nigma West. They want to finish the job, but can't quite do so. But nevertheless, huge win for them. And now they can look to pressure and take the enemy tier two tower and sort out their lanes.
man. What did I just say, Nomad? If you don't stop the SD from precasting his spells, the agony on life so the fight hard. looks pretty good. And what just happened? SD's on the high ground the entire time. He breaks up the DK. He prevents Miracle from getting the solo kill. He then throws the ult onto Winner as well. Meanwhile, life still is jumping inside. It's the perfect position from PSG Quest and Nygma just did not respect the, the construct that they need to create to win a fight. It needs to be find the SD, prevent him from playing the game, and then you know, walk your way through, but this time around, Omar, with ease, gives uh, so much to his team. Yeah, he's the maestro, just coordinating the fight from the back. Very, very nicely done. Cleanser his teammates, purge for the enemies. You absolutely, the, the, the entire fight for Nick the Galaxy, if it wasn't clear before, is certainly clear now. You must deal with Shadow Demon. Um, I'm, I'm looking over to you, Kuroki. Is it time for a blink dagger? Get on the guy. Mess up his day. Yeah. I'm not sure. Well, that's all the games it's where... do it more effectively, but... I feel like cores can buy blink dagger. I think there's a there's a hesitation for wanting to buy blink because you always want to scale with your tank and you know, scale with your damage, but in this type of game for FPZ, what if you just replaced his wand with a blink dagger right now? And his fight was just, he sees one Shadow Poison from an SD, boom, you blink on that location. As much as Static Link is very good against this Lifestealer, it kind of feels like it's a non-factor because Lifestealer also has Agnums to, to jump away from him, to, to kind of kite in different directions. And the SD as well can also just prevent Razor from continuously getting a good Link off. And it's the reason why Lifestealer didn't go for a Lincolns, I feel, because Agnums provide some aggressive capabilities. And if his team's helping him, he can get away from the static link. And that's why I think maybe Fraser. Sure, he's looking at Refresher, but I do agree with you. I, I, I need to see one source of anti-SD positioning right now. And Yeah, you do have Matthew who has this uh, Orchid. Maybe he'll pick up the mantle. And me, yeah. If we're in other smoke, the last time this happened, they completely fell apart in the fight and... We'll see if they have uh, a better approach to this one. They are currently posted on the low ground. They have Observer and Sentry on Kuroki if they want to go for a high ground hill spot to vision advantage engagement, but it doesn't seem to be the case. Roshan is going to respawn in a minute 50, which will be on the dire side. Again, to be one of those games. You are for being very game, evenly then. matched yeah. in this third game. Yeah, maybe, I don't know, these these guys just feel too aggressive to take it to 60 minutes, like... Up, up, up. You're trying your hardest to cast a curse. No, it doesn't work if you do it deliberately. I don't know, I've Not seen some. It goes. I've seen it in action. Bottom, bottom side, the tower's already gone, tier 2 dropped. But uh, they are kind of giving up the Dire Roshan area on Nigma Galaxy by doing this. But at the same time, you're also forcing... PSG quest home, so... Not the quickest siege, though. Like, some teams here could be disciplined and go, ah, who cares? Once the DK comes into the mix, though, no, that's when you want to come back, and yeah, Sumo now shows up, and... Here they come! <laughs> yeah. Those goddamn Malak illusions. Malak is infested. He is, he is, he's expecting. Oh, no, he's just uh, going in. Fishing. Ooh, ooh. Ooh. If it was daytime, that is a coiled... Of course, that's why he's TPing out there, because it is nighttime, but the matter Indeed. of day-night vision, and... Nigma running to the top side of the map, but here's your quest. They know that Roshan's respawning soon. They have the vision up there. There are three observer wards that Nigma need to try and find if they want to have vision advantage here. They don't Look have a Matthew. GM, I believe, so. Matthew's Just still running on the bottom side of the map. But if they do control this area, then he has himself. Kuroki's an outpost of jump to us. They're just trying to block Kuroki straight off the bat, and they'll be able to do exactly that buyback available, though, from the disruptor. You're going to want to be seeing that pretty shortly if you want to contest this Roshan. Four seconds until it respawns. On the bottom side, Matthew still shoving in this bottom lane. The tower getting very low, but they don't care. They're going for more. FBZ is going to be the target. He's going to be forced to BKB, but that demonic purge is out onto him, broken and torn in, in part. He's trying to run away across the bridge, but the infest comes into him, and FBZ will die. Who now dead? In the bottom lane. Enigma Galaxy getting picked off. Meanwhile, in the bottom lane, there's just Acorn <laughs> shot after Acorn shot.
it felt like there was like a mixed game plan there from, from Nick, but of course there's no way in the world Matthew's going, guys, 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 prolong the fight, I'm gonna take that. Like, there's no way he's entertaining the idea of actually Ooh, trying miracle. to pressure Rax here. Yeah, Fuck Spy used out onto the puck trying to catch him off guard, but Noob, he was only pretending. He wasn't actually trying to kill you. Meanwhile, bottom lane, he's doing a little bit of damage to the melee barracks, a, little, a tiny fraction of damage to the range barracks. Now the uh, tier three also getting kind of blasted by these Dragonite illusions as well. The male might bring up these illusions, steal as much building damage as possible, but over on the top side, the real objective is being taken. Tier 2000 now has an Aegis of Immortality. Not to mention a delicious cheese for the Mars as well. A little side helping there. He has been infested a couple of times. He might have his uh, mid-game cravings. Oh, Matthew. Oh, Matthew. He's got a juke left, right, center, light near available. Oh, that's big catch them. He's a goner, I believe. Although, sharpshooter to get over the trees. Bushwhack comes out, but with noob upon him, he's suddenly going to drop here. Finally, the rat gets ousted from the bottom side of the map. The lines have been drawn. Malek, he's commanding that PhD quest, walking down mid, walking down bottom. Whilst he's also looking for a pickoff, he might go for the free Kuroki kill. You can't resist. You cannot resist. Kuroki's just too damn tempting. 22 gold. Ooh. Ow. <laughs> a lot of money. It's a lot Look of at money. my guy. He's, he's by far the poorest guy in the game. All right. I, I always say this with Disruptor because I think the concept of support selling items to get that one big ticket item is pretty important. The Carlos, he did go for Dagon to kill off the DK yeah, illusions uh, because you need to do it. But I kind of think that this could be the Disruptor mad panic to you know, sell a drum sell a bracer if he has the point booster already some act surprise could be pretty important maybe not during the ages but we can keep an eye out if he wants to make that play yeah, very critical against a bkb lifestealer that's for sure exactly yeah ages expires kuroki whips out the agonims oh, <gasps> hey. oh my goodness you're seeing it i am in my mind's eye oh boy and Omar being annoying, using disruption to create some uh, DK illusions of his own. Mail, by the way, did finish off his Bloodthorn now as well. So, Blink Bloodthorn available from him. If he sees this, this Shadow Demon, you know his target's going to be nice. Oh, shackle, shackle out onto the puck, but the Infest comes through to give him the health. He needs to survive it. Miracle under cover of BKB and Winrun needs to be able to get away from TA2000. TA2000, though, actually disarmed and bushwhacked. He's in trouble. Might be his first life going down here. Samel able to control him up and bring him down. The life stealer is gone. PSG Quest, can they reform him quickly enough? They can't. Razor has gone on top of the Shadow Demon. It's going to have to be a Rage TP, but that will be successful. No bashes out. Critically, their FBZ doing the work for Nigby Galaxy, finding that key target of the back lines and removing the Shadow Demon from the fight. Yes, of course, they don't really have a clean way of hitting the buildings, and it kind of comes into play. The Nigma, they aren't under threat of suddenly losing racks quickly because they're in that position. They get that wrap around and a shackle shot as well to start the fight. It's such a choke point. Four heroes in the steps of the, the Dire Triangle. That's not really a position you want to be in, and. Yeah, SD didn't really get any key spells off. Enigma, yeah. Still in this game. Until FPD gets caught in bot lane. Oh, refresher time. Oh, he's got a refresher. Very nice. Yeah. Link comes out onto the last here. Last here backs away. Nice timing there on the Arena of Blood onto FPD. I should finish the job, but that said, a lot of counter damage coming back through onto Malik at the moment. The moment, moment the arena ends, he is going to drop here. Matthew has died, though. Puck just kind of dancing around this fight, doing whatever he wants right now. Lesia jumping into the Windrunner. Windrunner's dead as well. Now it's just on some L to get himself out of this one. The Static Storm comes down, but not doing a whole lot. Might kill off Ducalis with the illusions, but nope, it's not enough. Ooh. And now, oh, some mail. He's been found TPing. Noob doesn't have a way to cancel, though. Hmm, 1.7 seconds. Yeah, he's out. You're good. I was just, I was just giving you know the Enigma fans some hope because they, they got some nice kills. They then went aggressive a little bit together, but FBZ's by himself. It kind of feels like FBZ plays like his career oh, has already got to him. Like how many times yeah. have I seen FBZ make a play? His career is like 
five seconds away from it making the play a lot easier. Like him farming that position, if he has refresher, there's no way he dies. And then he just walks back to his team, it's fine. But then he has to like awkwardly continue the fight, get the refresher, pop the refresher, disengage. The Nigma still wants to take the fight because they have the refresher. It's for every good play Nigma makes, there seems to be like one disconnected play within a five minute window after. And uh it really is gonna hinder them, but we now have progressed the game by 0.5 seconds. So at this rate, I think we could finish this game by the end of 2025 if they keep this up. Yeah, anyway, D DK is gone. He's fine. He's good. Noob. Oh, that's a nice cinematic, actually. That's beautiful. Wow, what a scene. Oh, not that one. The composition. Lovely. What do they do now? There's no win range in the game for 87 seconds. No buyback available either. Just bought out. Mm. Or I think the Lincoln Sphere, maybe? Oh, maybe the Agnum Scepter, actually. So, yeah. I would probably Base say damage. just run it down bot lane. Like, there's only a tier 2 top, so... 90 seconds. If you click on winner on it, you'd see that Agnums and Linktons. Like, there's two, a couple of big items in play, so... Playback probably is going to be uh, out of reach, so... Run it down a lane. Try and take a Rax, probably. Yeah, they want to go sort out their waves real quickly first. Might not be forcing much here let's see tier 2000 leading the charge on the bottom side backed up by omar you cast on the neighborhood as well of course they don't have their mask oh. they die in that engagement broke you went yours it's a shame he would be like 900 gold away from agonims if he just didn't buy yours yeah, that's surprising what do you think this yours is for yes okay good thank you i, I just want to see agonims like i think in these I know. Other games, Me too, buddy. When you have half the gold towards Agonims and you're losing the game and fights are hard and you're in position five, what's better? Be absent for maybe one fight, but then come with a statement item or buy some semi item that can, sure, it can cancel a Crystal Maiden Ultima or it can fight up the, the puck to set up for your own Static Storm. But here's BKB. Like, there are multiple BKBs in play here. This Yules is like 23 minutes too late, I feel. It should have just been the Agonims. I think it's uh, Kuroki has. Blundered his late game itemization, unless he somehow then gets gold to make a win waker. But then that point, you could have had, had ags for multiple team fights. It's just, I don't really. I'd love to ask some of the pros why they don't opt for this agonims. I understand the whole idea of cheap items enable team, but this isn't a four staff. This isn't a glimmer. This isn't something that directly impacts another core in your team. It is quite a you know, independent utility item. Yeah, I feel like it's probably a cancel for the Crystal Maiden because they 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 are pretty light on stuns. They mm -hmm. yeah. had a few team fights now where they've struggled to really deal with the CM, so it could be just a cancel for this freezing field or you know catching maybe the life stealer off guard in between a rage, something like that. Seems to be the logic. That's as bad as as much as I can cook up for you though. Is Hoodwink, by the way, transitioning into her late game state. Needless now purchase. Ooh. Did have the Revenant's Brooch queued up for a minute there, but of course, they listen to Revenant's Brooch would have been a bit uh, questionable, especially against a life stealer. Wouldn't have liked to Ooh. see that personally. Smoke on smoke action, no mad. Ooh. It breaks. It does Ooh. nothing to the jumps, but as does Malik, they're going to get across. Beautiful spear coming out to two big cores on the side of Naming Galaxy. They'll lose the Razor, and I'm not sure this win rate is just going to be able to get away either. Miracle's gone as well. Quest, what an opening. Malik finds the spirit arena of dreams. And now they're dead without buyback. This might be more than Barracks T, Governor. They might have just found an opening to finish this game off. If they test them and find that they're not willing to buy back here, then yes, she quests in a very good position to close this one out. At the very least, Mega Creep should be happening. Razor just bought the pressure and win on Well, they bought big ticket items, they just don't have. The gold for the buyback and clarify when on did buy refresher, sorry. But mega creeps full. Two cores are dead and I think they realize it. The fact they got the, the, the megas for free. Malik, he's hunting. He has a hex. He's looking for second. more and he's gonna be finding. Oh the hoodwink. Absolutely annihilated. No buyback on the hoodwink. Yours. There's one more here. There's that Yules. It's going to Ooh. work. <laughs> it's doing absolutely nothing. 
or now dead Enigma Galaxy. They fought so well. They were really in this game, but all of a sudden, they might be on the brink of losing. 20 seconds left on Razor. 20 seconds left on the Wind Ranger. It might not be long enough. Samael doing what he can, throwing out some spells. Buyback from Disruptor. The A2000, eyes on the prize, looking for that Ancient. 10 seconds remaining. Ancient down to 50% HP. Coil's going to hold them back. They can't do anything. Disruptor is gone. Razor is back. Wind Ranger's back, but it doesn't matter. PSG Quest. They finish the game. Huge fight was all it took. Massive spear coming out from Malik to put an end to game number.